We're here with Kristen Lawrence uh, on the press conference for the 12th annual Westby Awards, the nominees. So first of all, uh, Kristen, congratulations. You are breaking the glass ceiling in terms of being the first three-time nominee. Yeah, thank you very much. It's an honor. Uh, I'm glad to be here, and I'm excited for the Westby Awards. So listen, um, first of all, you're nominated as Athlete of the Year in Soccer as well as ice hockey. Yes. Now, both of those have something in common. You go down in one direction and try and score into a net. Yeah. Now, now has it been right since you were a kid that you've had a fascination with the, the, the two sports? Uh, it actually, I started hockey when I was four. I didn't start playing soccer until I was about 12. Uh, my friend's dad needed a goalie, and I was like, okay, I'll try it out, and I've been playing ever since. So, yeah. <laughs> so what's it like being uh, history-making? Uh, there's This is the 12th S. Westby's and you're going to be the first three-time nominee because you're also nominated female athlete of the year. Yeah, it's it's an honor, especially being from Windsor, Essex County. Uh, I'm glad to be chosen for all three categories, and I'm just I'm excited to see the results and hopefully it's a good turnout. <laughs> so where'd you do your high school? Uh, I went to Bell River High School. So well, you were a standout athlete out there, I'm sure? Uh, yes. Yes, I was. <laughs> in, in both sports? Yes. Or? I was on the West so All-Star every year. So. I was looking to see if there was any golf or basketball in your background. You probably didn't have time for it. Uh, there was softball. I used to play softball and baseball. So I had to give that up because I can't really play three sports at university. So listen, who were some of your female athlete heroes as you were growing up? Uh, I would have to say Megan Augusta for hockey. Yeah. My sister used to play with her. We, I used to like personally know her because she's from Windsor, obviously, and my sister. And then for soccer, I would probably have to say Hope Solo. She's the goalie of the U uh, U.S. Women's National Team. Yeah. Try to learn my style from her and just be the best I can. Now, when you get nominated for awards like this, now you're putting yourself in a position to be the hero for a generation below you. What do you want to say to the young ladies uh, who are looking up to you now um, in terms of their future in sports? Uh, work hard, never give up, be positive, and just believe in yourself because you don't know where you can take yourself if you just believe and be positive throughout every single thing even if you go through a rough time it just there's always a positive end to everything so Kristen let, let me ask you finally uh, what are your career aspirations where, where, where's your education gonna take you uh, career hopefully I can be a police officer but if so there's a new women's hockey league uh, CWHL Canadian women's hockey league or NWHL National Women's Hockey League hopefully I can get drafted one of those and if that doesn't work out maybe soccer there's a professional league for soccer so I'm just going with whatever, whatever wherever uh, life brings me, I'll, I'll go with it. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations. It's always an honor being nominated for a Westby Award, but not just once, not just twice, but three times. And, and if you uh, succeed in all three categories, you will be indeed uh, at the top of the world. Oh, yeah, hopefully. Okay, so congratulations and the Thank best of luck. Thank you very much.